Good evening, party people. This is Please Continue Gaming. Thanks for joining. Tonight is a bit of a different video, but most of these videos are different because I'm really just starting. So, hello. My name is Jay. Um, please Continue Gaming. Uh, most of the time this channel is going to be dedicated to video games and things like that, but I also have other interests. Um, sports cards are not one of my normal interests, but here we are. It's 2020. It's a strange year, to say the least. I hope there's no real background noise. I do have a fan going. I am in a cellar. It's kind of hot down here, but I'll turn it off anyway. Because I'm kind of good for now. So what do we have here tonight? Please continue uh, gaming. Again, this is a little bit different tonight. Excuse me as I take a sip of my tea. Very nice. Tonight I'm drinking uh, a green tea with a uh, natural honey. Tonight's not a beer night. Alright. If I was drinking tonight, I would not be doing the video that I'm doing. And the reason I'm doing the video that I'm doing is because I think it would be cool. Um, please continue gaming. Back to the channel. Um, I am a video game guy. I do collect video games and certain video game paraphernalia, so that's normally my focus. Uh, I have a real big interest in music. I've always been in, into music my whole life. So I do collect vinyl, CDs, tapes, you name it. I pretty much have it. But I'm not a collector that's out of control, I, I think, as far as having to have every last little thing. I'm a niche collector or niche collector, however you guys say it these, this day and age. So back to what this is about though, um, cards, sports cards, baseball cards, things like that. Um, my mother came over a couple weeks ago and she had cards from my grandmother's house um, and they were in her basement. They were in her basement probably for the last 40 years because the boxes that I pulled out um, one in particular, they look like, you know, this stuff. NHL, sticker in every pack. You know, if this was 1979, you'd be eating the gum and all that, and there's nothing but just, you know, cards. So I'm like, okay. You know, I'm, I'm into this kind of stuff. NHL, I was a hockey fan back when I was younger. Hockey is... If you're in the United States or Canada, especially the United States and the Canada, um, hockey is, it's big. It's bigger in Canada. It's big in the United States. The United States pretty much has four sports, four major sports, uh, baseball, football, American football, hockey, basketball, soccer, or moreover, world soccer, world known football. It does exist here, but it's really just not as popular as those sports. So I don't know how this works out for my European friends on the channel or my European viewers. Uh, we're going to be looking at some athletic cards of players of baseball and hockey predominantly, baseball and hockey here. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking the cards that I got from these boxes that I showed and I'm getting them into protective, uh, sh you know, a penny sleeve. They call them penny sleeves, and you get your card put in there. And then into a, a real protective sleeve. So why am I doing this? Because these cards are 40 years old. I went through a, a bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, different ones and uh, I was actually surprised to find what I found
take another sip of my tea. So what are we getting at here? Again, placing cards into these protective um, shells. Let's start with hockey. Hockey, hockey, hockey. Where did hockey come from? I don't know. A lot of people don't know where hockey officially came from. The word hockey, they believe, came from early France. Uh, a stick that was used to raise sheep or yaks or something was uh, curved and hooked, uh, called a hoquette or something like that. I don't know. But when it comes to the word hockey, there's also field hockey. There's ice hockey. Uh, there's other sports with involving sticks and balls and pucks and things like that but as far as this video is concerned this is ice hockey american hockey nhl uh first off let, let's just get a view of a card so what do we have here flyers bobby clark bobby clark was a philadelphia flyer i'm from philadelphia my dad's from philadelphia my whole family's from philadelphia all I've heard my entire life is the Flyers, Philadelphia Flyers, the Broad Street Bullies, all this sort of stuff. Uh, Bobby Clark's in the Hall of Fame. This is a nice card. I wouldn't say it's expensive by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a nifty card. Bobby Clark is from Flin Flon, Canada. If you Google Flin Flon, Canada on a map, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. So... If he looks like he's staring off into space, he's probably a little drunk. You tell me. I don't know. He looks a little drunk. So this is a card, just as an example of what I have going on here. This is from 1970-something, I'd imagine. This is probably right after the Flyers won the Stanley Cup. It says... 73 74 so this card probably came out in 75 this is reflecting the 73 74 numbers so you know this is kind of what i'm working with here i also have some baseball cards the, the end goal of this video is to get 25 cards picked and into uh, these cases so it doesn't really matter how long this takes tonight i'm really just kind of winging it again i got my tea i got my water trying to keep my voice together because I plan on doing a lot of talking. But first things first, and I really want to get this out of the way. Uh, as I was going through these cards again, you know, weeks ago, I showed my wife. Of course, you know, she has no interest in cards. I don't blame her. To be honest, I have no interest in baseball cards and, and hockey cards myself. I'm really just going through these and doing this video because I'm going to get rid of them, meaning I'm going to sell them. I have no desire to keep these. I was joking with her and I said, oh, look at this old box of hockey cards. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know, I'm going to go down the basement. I'm going to go through them and, you know, just see what I see. There's got to be some players in there i was just jokingly saying uh watch watch we're gonna get uh a wayne gretzky rookie card wayne gretzky if you're in the united states and canada you're between the ages of 20 and 40 or older i might be going a little young with 20 you might not know who wayne gretzky is unless you're really into hockey um he's basically the greatest hockey player of all time He's the Michael Jordan of hockey. If you're a big soccer fan, he's pretty much on par with, like, Pele. Um, and I only say Pele because that's the only fucking soccer player that comes to mind. So, yeah, Wayne Gretzky, uh, the greatest hockey player of all time. Um, I was just joking around. I was like, watch me get a, a Gretzky rookie. And I'm going through cards, and I'm going through cards, and I'm going through cards, and bam. This is a Wayne Gretzky rookie. At this point, I'm literally uh, freaking out. I'm like, oh my God. Because, oh my God, when it comes to cards, again, I don't know shit about cards, excuse my language, but I do know that this card in particular is sought after. 
it's it's worth money and and the better the shape obviously the better the card is going to be so I'm looking, continuing going through cards. I'm going through cards. I'm going through cards. I'm going through cards. I hit a uh, Edmonton Oilers stack, and ah, see now we have a problem. Now we have two Wayne Gretzky rookie cards. Now this is where the collector problem goes into full effect, because now I have to see. Holy shit! Again, excuse my language. How much is a Wayne Gretzky rookie card. I know my dad had them back in the day. My dad was a collector of comic books and cards and things like that. So this is where I get my collecting problem from. And I remember he had a few of these. But back then, you just put these in these sleeves and you put them in these things but nowadays with fraud and fakes and all that sort of thing you have to get these cards pretty much cemented in a way in a in a coffin if you've ever seen baseball cards or hockey cards they're all laminated in a way in a in a like a clear coffin and they're graded and they're graded by a company there's video game companies that do this too um so in this day and age I'm, I'm looking at having to now get these things graded so something that went from here you go here's some bunch of cards a bunch of cards you know they were in grandma's basement enjoy now this turned into this turned into a job so as far as all these cards go these are the shining stars. I'm not going to go into really why they are, but we're going to go over a couple things, you know, as I was looking on the internet, looking online, what makes these cards good, what makes the condition good, what goes into a good card. Because one, I know they're real. My grandmother is a bit of a pack rat. If she has these cards down in her basement, for the last 40 years, untouched, I can only imagine what else she has. So I already put out to the word to Grandma. And Grandma, if you're watching, any cards, any cards you have, you know where I'm at. So, because again, I am a... Um, collector type and I, I do understand the uh, the bizarre world of collecting and, and things like this I am uh, I'm busting out the surgical gloves tonight because it's hot down here I'm kind of secreting sweat and I don't want to I don't want to ruin these cards. So you guys are going to have to give me a minute as I put on these, um, these surgical gloves. This is a real nerve wracking moment. And it's nerve wracking because I have to get these cards in here in, in perfect condition. I don't want to scratch up the edges I don't want to scratch the surface I don't want to do I don't want to leave any hand oils on these things these things again have not been touched for 40 years and just to give you an idea if these are, are graded well they're worth they're worth money so this right now is, is kind of a no joke situation and thankfully my wife oh, look at these things Man, these are like a little small but Guess what? These will do the job. Uh, these are surgical gloves. My wife is a vet veterinarian technician. Basically a nurse. Basically a vet. Oh, yeah. And now we're ready to handle the cards. I don't know if I'm going to go nuts on all of the cards like this, but for these ones in particular, these two in particular, I'm definitely wearing the gloves um, because I'm nervous. 
So here we go. Uh, we're going to insert the first card. I'm probably getting it all messed up with this uh, pencil graphite. So let's just, you know, give it a look a, a second in its raw form. Wayne Gretzky. Um, it looks nice. Edmondson Oilers. The print is nice. The picture is nice. I'm just blowing the COVID off of it. Um, it's a nice picture. It's a little short at the bottom. I'll get into that in a minute. The Oilers stamp. The logo is clear. The picture is nice and printed well. It's even. It's not a misprint. I don't see any anything weird just looking at it with the naked eye on this edge it appears that it's just slightly off center because you can see that the left edge tapers to a wider position so looking at the card is it perfect no i'll tell you that right off the bat the corners are really nice they look at these things this one's got a little bit of a fray no big deal this one's got a little color white popping, but the cor corners are sharp on this card. This one might be the one that's, uh, this one's definitely going to get graded, and it's definitely going to get, um, I think this one could get a 7 or an 8 out of a 10, 1 to 10. This one, I'm going low, just looking at it, 7 or 8. here because once it's in here this is never coming out of here again like I'm, I'm never taking this out of here okay all right so now it's in its plastic penny sleeve the other thing about the card has been sitting so long it has a little bit of a bend but this casing will uh, clean that up so that one, I think, is the really, 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 really nice one. Let's look at the next one. So this one, this one, I think, is a little bit lower in overall print. It's nice. It's got these print dot bubble things that I don't see on the other one. So those are basically imperfections. But that's an imperfection in the print. It's not an imperfection. It's not a dent. Um, that's the other thing. These cards have like no dents. This is a nice print. This one is a little wide on the left as far as the border goes. And on the right hand side, it's a thinner border. So they actually have percentages for these borders. This would probably be like 60 40 or 55, what, 45? The bottom cut is straight. The Oilers logo is good. What's that? That was a cat hair. The picture is nice. I don't know if that right there is a like a hockey logo or that's a print problem. That could be something on the jersey. Old wooden sticks. Look at that old Oilers jersey. And there's number 99, 1979 this is. This is a 1979 Topps uh, Wayne Gretzky rookie. Topps is the American version. I'm in the United States, so we get Topps. The Canadian version of this, the manufacturer Opeachy, this card under an Opeachy is like three times more expensive than a really good Topps uh, rookie card so this one again this one has some little blemishes it's definitely a lower grade card it's got nice straight edges the corners that one might be a little funky that's a nice one I mean they are gonna this it is what it is this is a 40 year old card let me check the back real quick because we didn't look at the back on the other one the back on the other one is nice also 
the difference in the Opeechee card is that since it's Canadian, it also has uh, French on the back, so it's English and French. Uh, so there's their basic stats on Wayne Gretzky. The back is also good. I don't see any like discoloration. There's no stains. There's no nothing like that. So as far as cards go, I mean, these are nice. I was not expecting to have these show up, but it's 2020. So stranger things will happen. So these two cards, again, these are getting put in these plastic penny sleeves, and then they are just getting put away. Got blow the dust off that bee. Let's not fuck up the corners. Excuse my language. Let's not mess up the corner. I see this one's already making me nervous. Because right, I'm not really paying attention. Get away, you bastard. There we go. Okay. Kind of the sides. I don't want to scrape the, the bottom. Oh my god. I don't want to mess it up and mess stuff here. Right, so there we go. So we got the two penny sleeves on. Now let's get them into the more sturdy case. Alright, let's go with uh, what I think is the better one. And this is just a slightly thicker plastic it's almost like you could just put it in it's obviously meant to be in here this is a nice uh, nice much nicer slide there you go finally now I can breathe again because I'm like a collector of things like I like them to be in good shape really nerve-wracking having these cards out like this out in the in the wild because they really are that's like you know walking around with a brand new phone and just not having a case so this one's really nice again i think it's a little tapered so the cut is a little off and it actually looks like it tapers here a little bit but that's not bad let's get the other one in Because again, these are not coming out. I think the only time these are coming out is if I have to go send them to get graded. But I'm not going to send them to get graded right now because it's the mailing system is obviously just totally nuts. It's because the United States is run by a literal psychopath. Nothing against psychopaths. But yeah. It's all cat hairs. So... There we go. I mean, this was the, the main part of my video. Get these cards in here, show them off, do a video, and just get them on some sort of film, some sort of camera before I say goodbye to them. Again, two Wayne Gretzky rookies. These are uh, tops models. I just looked on eBay the other night. Someone had these graded from the uh, major grading company that's uh, online, PSA, I think. Uh, and the, the guy was selling a number seven. So it was a seven grade Wayne Gretzky, and I think it went for like 1600 bucks. So, yeah, uh, I'll probably sell one, and I'll probably keep another. I think I'll sell the one that may be what I consider to be less condition. And I'll keep the one that I consider to be a higher condition. But really, I'm only really going to get the condition once I send them away to hit, to be graded. And these cards, I think they may need to be graded. So there you go. I'm going to have to put these somewhere nice. And just sit on them. Excuse me. But like I said, this is not just about uh, Wayne Gretzky, but those were the premier cards, so I just had to get those into their, uh, their, their, their case.
I can't have the mail. <clears throat> so let's look at what else I have. I have some baseball cards. Again, not many of you may know who these people are. Uh, some of you might not even un understand baseball or, or know what baseball is. But basically what I did, after I found these, I went on a mission. I had to look at the sets of cards that I had and obviously I'm going to be looking at prices so I look to see what card numbers what card numbers in the particular card set are one worth anything and two maybe something of more sentimental sentimental value to me these are worth something they're also sentimental but right now I think I would rather take the uh, money Growing up, I was a kid, uh, sort of into sports, baseball. Here's a Reggie Jackson, a very young Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson is a Hall of Fame baseball player. This particular card is from 1971, so this is an old card. This is like 50 years old. Thing about Reggie Jackson, one, he's a Hall of Famer. Two, this card is at in its best condition, uh, up to around six, seven hundred bucks. I'll take two hundred for it. But again, ultimately cool to have. Let's look at the card. We have really nice straight corners. Edges are nice. Corners are nice. This corner is a little frumpy. But it has that black outlines. This is a cool looking card. But that outline, we gotta get. That's gonna show a lot of white. So this card is, is, will show a lot of edge damage. It's not centered very well. As you can see, it's, this edge is a lot bigger than this edge. So this is a card, not, again, not perfect. It, it's really almost impossible to find a perfect card. Perfect card being like a 10. Uh, they call that mint or you know, gem or whatever. Things in is sometimes a little tricky. You don't want to mess up the edge. That's a cool card. So these are just a couple I wanted to get in. I might not go and get all 25 in tonight because I don't know if I have all that in me tonight. Definitely wanted to get the the Wayne Gretzky's in their, um, their pack. This is one I would probably end up getting this one graded too. I would get this one graded because it looks like it's worth getting graded. It has nice condition. It's bright. It's not weather beaten. It's basically be sitting, basically sitting in a box for 40 years. Here's another uh, hockey card. This is... Nothing major, but it is kind of on the lines of uh, the original card, Wayne Gretzky. This is a 1979 Gordie Howe. Gordie Howe, I believe his nickname was Mr. Hockey. I could be wrong. Uh, but he was basically the man before Wayne Gretzky. He had the record scoring goals, most points, you know, you name it, he, he probably had it. He, the guy was an animal. Let's look at this reverse card. They only show his 78-79 stats, but his first pro season was 1946. This card was 1979. So when he started, he was born in 28, Jesus Christ. He was he was sixty. Is that right? This this is nineteen seventy. Fifty. Fifty something. Fifty two, fifty three, fifty four years old. Look at his lifetime goals. Nine hundred and sixty goals. Wayne Gretzky ultimately beat that. Assists. I think Wayne Gretzky beat that. I'm pretty sure Wayne Gretzky beat all of his 
uh, stats, maybe not games played, uh, maybe not penalties and minutes, but he definitely got beat him on the goals. Born in Floral, Saskatchewan. Gordy is a grandfather. <laughs> Again, a nice card though. It's nice to have these things. It, it's cool. You gotta see a little blemish there. It's cool when I look at them. I understand the connection, the, the sentimental value. Hartford Whalers, they're no longer even a team. This card is cut a little nicer. Slight angle. Gordy Howe, right wing. Hall of Famer. But yeah, having the cards, you know, I, I get that sentimental thing. I do like things like this that are old, old comic books. As soon as I open the box, the smell, you're just like blown away by this old, dusty smell of just old cards. It's almost almost like a, a library or finding old books. So that's kind of a, a cool experience. Definitely taken back. It's a smell that you've smelled before, or maybe you haven't, if you're an old fart like me. But those sort of things kind of like take you back. Plus the connection, these were definitely my uncle's cards. Um, and even on the box, that's my dad's handwriting. I know my dad's handwriting a, a million miles away. This contains all doubles of Raymond's teams. Raymond was my, or is my uncle. So yeah, my dad was uh, getting him all collected up in collector stuff even before I was born. These came out in 79, I was born in 1980, so I was next in line. So yeah. That's about as far as I'm going to go tonight. I got a couple big ones. Put in their cases. I'm very happy about that. I got to make a video about something that's not normally on my channel. But these are things that I would uh, like to get into uh, from time to time. It's fun to be able to, to talk about something like this. Um, again, I, I'm a big... Uh, not a big collector, but I, I get it. I understand it. I, I like these things. You know, it's fun to look at something like this, especially when it's given to you. Especially when it's given to you, and then you run into things like these rookie cards here, and you're just like, holy, holy crap. I was literally joking with my wife before I even looked. I was like, well, let's watch if you have a Gretzky rookie in there. And there you go. So I fished my wish. Now, who wants to buy some of this shit? Because I'm trying to get rid of it. I'll take uh, three grand for the, the, the set here. Anybody? Anybody? Three grand? Call me on it. But anyway, thanks to uh, anybody who caught the stream. Thanks to anybody who's going to catch the stream later. This is Jay. This has been Please Continue Gaming. Or in this case, Please Continue Loading Cards into Card Holders. You guys all have a, uh, a good evening. Let me take off my ah, gloves. Oh, and this was entirely filmed via uh, my cell phone. I was trying out the uh, mobile Twitch app. Now I'm going to shut it down and see how it looks on the flip side. So again, thanks for joining. I'm going to uh, sign off, and uh, maybe I'll start to do a little video tomorrow. You guys have a good one.